The addition of Instant 3D and SolidWorks 2008 has made solid modeling a more graphical experience than ever. Instant 3D makes it possible to simply grab a hold of geometry to add new features and to make changes to existing geometry. Now right now, I'm editing this sketch. I could always select the Extrude tool from the Features toolbar to create the first feature, but instead, I'll use Instant 3D to do this. First of all, to use Instant 3D, I must be in Edit Part mode. So I'll exit this sketch. Next, I must make sure that the Instant 3D icon is pressed. To start using Instant 3D, all I have to do is click anywhere on the sketch. When I do, an arrow appears normal to the sketch. To create some geometry, I'll just click and hold down the mouse button and drag the arrow away from the sketch. As I do so, a ruler appears, showing the distance of the extrude from the sketch planer surface we're working from. Once I'm at the desired distance, I can click the mouse button again to set the dimension and finish the extrude. When I do, a small toolbar appears asking if I would like to create a draft on the extrude, or to make it into a cut. If I click the draft icon, all of the faces will be drafted from the sketch plane. What makes Instant 3D so flexible is, now that I have some geometry, to make changes to it, all I have to do is click on a face, like one of these drafted faces, and I'll see all of the relevant dimensions appear. I can simply click on the blue dimension manipulators to change the angle of draft, the overall length, width, and height. Instant 3D makes it very easy to make all of these changes graphically without having to think about what particular features or sketches you would have had to edit otherwise. Instant 3D also works hand in hand with the Rapid Sketch tool to create your geometry very quickly. I'll make sure Rapid Sketch is enabled from the Sketch toolbar, and I'll add some sketch geometry to the top surface and bottom surface of the part. To create some new features in Instant 3D, I'll be sure to exit Sketch Mode. To create a cut on the top, I'll just click anywhere on the sketch and use the arrow and drag it into the part. To extrude the base, I'll click on the lower rectangle and drag the arrow once more. If I click on the lower surface of the cut, you might have noticed the other arrow manipulations that appear. Since I didn't define the position of this cut with dimensions, I can use the arrows to reposition the cut. To change its diameter, all I have to do is select the inside cylindrical face and again, use the arrow. I'll create a new fillet feature. Once the fillet's in place, to make changes to it, all I have to do is select it and use the blue manipulator. Instant 3D makes it fast, easy and graphical to create and edit geometry, but if you ever find yourself inadvertently clicking on model faces and making changes, you can always deselect the icon from the features toolbar.